So thank you very much for having me here, um, which I'm very honored to speak right after Helen, actually. Um, I was just a small journalist, uh, sometimes really got in trouble with the uh, um, Austrian authorities uh, trying to get information um, from them um, or their representatives. So um, after I quit journalism, I thought about uh, just um, um, how to get an excuse to write something. So I found the blog Amtsgeheimnis.at, was Österreichs Bürger nicht wissen dürfen, or in English, official secret, what Austrian citizens are not allowed to know. And I was trying just to focus on uh, what information are Austrian citizens actually um, not given by uh, administration, by the public administration. Um, information is the currency of democracy. That's a quote I found. Um, it's, it says it was Thomas Jefferson who said this, but you know how quotes on the internet may be right or not. Uh, anyway, I like it and uh, so I use it. Uh, it's not mine. What's the situation in Austria like today at the moment? Um, Austria is actually, you just saw that uh, in the uh, global right of information rating, we're number 89 out of 89. So um, uh, that has a reason. Austria is the only country of the former EU 15 countries uh, where the so-called official secret, the Amtsgeheimnis, is still um, uh, within, the, uh, within uh, the constitutional law, which was written in 1919 with the version of 1921. So that's the main problem, actually, um, that the Amtsgeheimnis says, the official secret law says, that um, everything um, is public, uh, which is not kept secret by the administration. And everything has to be kept secret by the administration, which is not public. And uh, it's really hard to uh, get out of this circle if you argue with um, uh, civil servants who execute these laws. And uh, that's one of the main problems. It's actually the main problem. There was, uh, there is, um, there is um, a duty to grant information law which was invented in 1987 in Austria, which says, okay, every uh, administration in Austria, um, every, public, uh, every public authority has to give you uh, information you like to have, except, and that's a problem. It's always uh, the problem in Austria with the exceptions. Uh, so uh, I think a politician these days said there is more holes in the cheese than cheese itself. So um, they do not need to grant you information if it's actually too much to do, if you would harm the, um, um, the work of the administration and you can interpret it like too much to do, um, um, uh, lawmakers told me. Um, if the request is done willfully, when the Anfrage mutwillig gestellt wurde, it's just to say it in German, um, which is kind of strange because it, it usually don't happen to, it doesn't happen to you just to, to have a question. Um, and, um, and they don't need to grant you information if your request is opposing the official secret law, which actually every request is. So um, the main problem is here that uh, the civil servants cannot be sure if they uh, uh, do not risk their job if they talk to you. Because the, the, the law is, um, um, the law is determined in a very kind of negative way. That's the main problem. To which cases does it lead? Um, the case I love the most is um, Georg Holzer. You may know Georg Holzer of the Kleine Zeitung in uh, Kärnten, Carinthia, province of Carinthia. Georg Holzer against the province of Carinthia. Um, he just liked to know uh, how, many, how much money the government actually spent on uh, advertising in, in, in newspapers. Um, and they refused to tell him. So they just said, uh, well, you don't need to know. So he said, okay, I, I'd like to have an official document saying I don't need to know, um, and bescheid. So they gave him the official document and then he went to, uh, to court, which is first of all the UVS, Unabhängige Verwaltungssenat, the Independent uh, Administration Court. Uh, and there they said, they argued, well, it's just too much to do. You know, all the papers, and they have to look it up, and how much money they paid every newspaper, and computers. <laughs> um, so the independent um, administrative court in Austria said, well, you heard, it's too much work. 
So they said, well, you don't, uh, you're, you're not granted this information. Uh, and he now went to uh, the higher administration, uh, higher administration court to the Verwaltungsgerichtshof, and that's where the, the case is now um, still waiting for, for judgment. Uh, another, just a very uh, easy one, uh, the Council of Ministers, the Ministerrat, every week. Um, I just tried to know um, just the agenda, the Tagesordnung. N not what they were talking, just what about they were talking. Just to get it from the, uh, from the um, uh, Bundeskanzleramt, which is the Chancellor's, Chancellor's office. Thank you very much. Um, and they said, well, actually, that's nothing we publish. Well, if the Chancellor and the Vice Chancellor like to talk about it after the uh, Council of Ministers, it's public. If they do not, it's not. So, uh, and then it's um, going to the, sorry for the German expression, Bundesarchivgesetz. Um, so the, the, the law of ar archives, and it's kept secret for 30 years, which is kind of strange. It's very kind of strange because um, I myself went to the Ministra, to the, the Council of, of Ministers for, for about um, eight years while I was working at Profil, and I never asked myself what they actually were talking about in there. So um, I never asked this, this question myself, which is kind of strange how, how I was able to do this job for eight years or ten years. And the third one, um, for example, the EU sues Austria that the Data Protection Agency should be illegal, the Datenschutzkommission. Um, why? That's a secret. That's an infringement procedure, just a clarification? Excuse me? Infringement procedure? Doesn't matter. Sorry, I'm not so much into the topic. Um, uh, it's the, the, the court um, is not allowed to tell you, that's okay, because you know, they are not talking about uh, one of the parties, but the Austrian government won't, won't tell you. You get the information by, a public, um, um, uh, by public information that there is a case, that it should be legal, but they don't tell you why, uh, which has now been ongoing for about five years now or so on, um, which is kind of strange. It's probably not a, a big problem, but it's, it's strange that you're not allowed to know. Uh, what is the problem beside that you, that uh, information is the currency of a democracy? Um, the administration is not trained how to deal with citizens. So really, the moment you call them and say, I'd like to know, they can actually risk their job because um, every, every uh, boss of them could, could go to them and say, you were not allowed to tell it. Uh, and the law is so restrictive that um, they can argue like that. These restrictive laws keep civil servants submissive. Um, so they do whatever you tell them, even um, if it's not quite clear if, uh, if it's according to the law, because they actually are in, in danger uh, talking to people. Uh, so there is no law saying, well, the civil servant cannot say, um, well, there is a law saying I have to talk to the people, I have to give them information. The law says you have not to. And uh, politicians can still grant information as a privilege, which uh, means they can give it to those journalists um, maybe they um, offer to do uh, nicer stories. Uh, why does Austria need a Freedom of Information Act? Because um, right now there is no subjective enforceable right to get information from administration. So you just can't go to court and say, I have the right to get information. Um, and actually that's just wrong. <laughs> it's wrong to have no Freedom of Information Act. And uh, that's what we try to, to work on with our small initiative, um, Amtsgeheimnis AT, uh, which is just a project we do in our spare time. Uh, it's not funded in any, in any way. And uh, the organization, just to have it in English name, it's uh, called Public Matters. I'm doing this together with uh, Hubert Sikinger, the uh, anti corruption um, science, scientist, um, who's actually, I think, been quoted recently a lot. That's my last point, the so-called transparency package. Um, it's just the so-called one. Uh, it's, really, um, it's really stunning for me uh, to see how uh, within the probably um, greatest corruption scandal of this country, uh, pos politicians still hesitate to, uh, uh, to open up the whole process. And saying, okay, people really lost trust in the whole system, and so we have to just open the doors and let them know whatever they like to know. Um, now they're actually negotiating if it's 1,000 euro or 5,000 euro whenever they um, uh, have to publish um, um, the spender of a, um, of a party. They're actually um, now negotiating uh, if it should be 
uh, published immediately or one and a half years later, maybe just after the, the next elections, you're allowed to know who was the founder of the party you actually voted for. That's kind of a strange thing. The public is not getting that anymore. Yeah. It's, it's, just, uh, it's just senseless, actually, to pass such a kind of bill at the moment. Uh, as long as there is no actual Freedom of Information Act, the whole problem will remain in Austria. And sorry for ruining this party, actually. Thank you. <laughs>